Hello students, I hope all of you are fit and fine. Today we are going to revise the chapter Houses All Around. We will be seeing important points from the chapter and we will be also seeing MCQs and short answers along with long answers. So let us start. To begin with, let us see first the important points from the chapter. The climate of a place the material available and the budget determines the type of house to be built. The place and the climate determine the design of the house. Materials like brick, stone, concrete, wood, iron, steel, glass, bamboo, grass, leaves and mud are used to build a house. So students, there are various factors that affect house building. For example, climatic conditions at that place, what kind of geographical conditions prevail over there, what kind of material is available and of course what is the budget of the person who wants to build the house. The budget determines the size and design of the house to be built. Certain important points must be kept in mind before, during and after building our house. Okay, so what are those points that we should remember? Like what is our budget? What is the area that is available to build a house? And what are the climatic conditions over there? On what type of geographical condition the house is to be built? So all these factors we should remember while building a house. For example, if I want to build a house in a coastal area, it would be different. If I want to build a house in hilly area, it should be different. And same is the case if I want to build a house in some desert place or in some plain place. Okay, so size of the house and shape of the house change from place to place also. Now let us solve some MCQs from the chapter. The first question is the construction of a house does not depend on the options are the land available money available members in the family and fourth option is neighbors around the house so what is the correct answer the correct answer is neighbors around the house because construction of the house does not depend on neighbors around the house it depends upon the land available yes it depends it depends upon money available and it also depends how many members are there in the family. But it definitely does not depend upon the neighbors around the house. Second question. Mud, bamboo and palm leaves could be used to make the options are bungalows, huts, flats, high rise buildings. So what is the correct answer? Mud, bamboo and palm leaves. Obviously the answer is huts. Okay. So, if the material available is mud, bamboo and palm leaves, the only thing I can build is huts. Let us move on further. Third question. Cooperative housing societies help to save dash. Options are space, money, space and money, water. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is both space and money. Okay, because... Cooperative housing societies not only saves a space, but they also save money. Okay, so that's why C option is correct one. Fourth question, igloos are shelters made by Eskimos for the options are temporary use, permanent use, summer, holidays. So for what purpose do igloos and um, are built by Eskimos? The answer is temporary use. The igloos are the shelters made by Eskimos for temporary use. Let us see next question. Right, true or false? The question is most houses in cold areas have fireplaces for warmth. So is it true or false? That we have to answer. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is true. Yes, the most of the houses in cold areas have fireplaces so that they can have some warmth. Second question, 
In places which have frequent earthquakes, houses are built of concrete, glass, iron and thatch. Is it true? No, it is false. Let us see next question. In big cities where there is shortage of space, people build huts. Is it true? It is false. Why? Because in big cities, they build big apartments so that they can save some space. Fourth question. To avoid insect breeding, the walls of the houses must be strong and damp proof. Is it true? The answer is true. Yes. To avoid the insect breeding, definitely the walls of the houses must be strong and damp proof. Let us see true or false. Fifth question. A house can be made safe by fitting the doors and windows with the grills. So the answer is true. Yes, it can be made safe by fitting it with doors, windows with the grills. Now let us see short answers. So first in that is what are the three factors that determine the type of house to be built? Well, you should write there are three main factors which determine the type of house we build. These factors are the climate of the place, material to be used and the budget available. So these are the three main factors. What are those? The climate of the place, material to be used and budget available to us. Second question. Name any six material used for building a house. The answer is bricks, stones, concrete, glass, iron and thatch. These are the six materials that can be used to build a house. Let us see third question. Before building a house, who makes the plan of the house? The answer is before building a house, an architect makes a plan of the house. Very important students. Who makes the plan? Architect. Name three characteristics of a good house. Well, you can write following are the three characteristics of a good house. A house should get lot of sunlight. Second, walls of the house must be strong, damp proof and well plastered. And third is doors and windows must be in direction such that fresh air and sunlight can enter every room. Why this is important students? Why sunlight is important? Why fresh air is important? Because that keeps your body healthy. That keeps us healthy. Sunlight kills all the microorganism. Fresh air keeps the air very clean. Okay. And that's why it keeps you healthy. Also, if the walls of the house are strong and damp proof, you can be sure that insect won't breed over there. Okay. Let us see next. These are the long answers. Houses in hot places need to be cool from inside. What are the special features of such houses? To answer this question, you may write in places where climate is hot, houses are, they have a thick walls and flat roofs. Okay. You can write in places where climate is hot, houses should have thick walls and flat roofs. Thick walls keep inside of the house cool and flat roofs can be used by people for sleeping outdoors. Okay. Let us see next question. The question is, what are the special feature of the houses where it rains heavily? Here you will write in places where it rains a lot and the climate is hot and damp, houses are often built on stilts. These houses build a few feet above the ground on raised platforms that keeps them safe from floods. The sloping roofs of houses on the hills do not allow rain water to collect and make the house damp and cold. Okay, so these are points you can mention for the houses which are built where the rains are heavy okay let us see third question how are the houses in the hills different from those in the plains here you will mention houses in hilly areas need to be built easily and quickly therefore houses here are built of bamboo and wood and third point you will mention whereas in the plains the permanent houses can be built with building materials like bricks concrete glass iron etc students Remember that here in plains, you can build houses with the material like bricks, concrete, glass, iron, etc. But in hilly areas, it will not be practical. 
बिकॉज इन हिली एरियाज कंडीशन आर नॉट दैट सेफ ओके सो इट इज़ वेरी नेसेसरी टू बिल्ड इट विद लाइटर मटीरियल एंड इट कैन बी बिल्ड इजली एंड क्विकली ऑल्सो वेल स्टूडेंट्स दैट वॉज ऑल फ्रॉम माई साइड Remember to wear your mask whenever you are out but it will be better if you stay at home okay so stay home stay safe and keep learning well thank you for attending this session see you in next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye